Daytona. What's up, people? We're over here at the hotel. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go live at 4 p.m. today because, as you guys know, we're doing the big Daytona show here in Florida. It's one of the biggest shows of the year, so we weren't be we weren't able to uh, to do a YouTube live. Way too much chapstick. Um, so yeah, uh, we, uh, we wanted to go live today cause we weren't able to go live last Saturday and obviously we weren't able to go live, um, this, why is that so close? What the hell is going on? <laughs> and we weren't, obviously weren't able to go out, go live, um, this at 4 PM. So I just wanted to answer a couple little questions and, um, and yeah, it's been a pretty good show guys. Yo, my phone is, my phone is acting really weird um but uh but yeah guys we're we're very good we we just had the first day here in daytona um we you know it's been a great show this is the first year doing daytona so we're really excited we're recording a vlog too with the gopro so we'll that'll be out later maybe next week hopefully um so we're excited to show you you know every all, all the cool reptiles we see here and um, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, and I don't know why this keeps zooming in on my face, feel free to ask because I am here to answer your questions. Um, but yeah, uh, basically for those of you guys that don't know, Daytona is probably the, the biggest show in the East, um, in the East Coast. I don't know if you consider Tinley Park show. I'm pretty sure that's not considered the East Coast. So, um, so yeah that would classify Daytona as the biggest show in the East. But it's our first time vending here. We were excited to see how we did. But um, but yeah, Chad Crowell. Yeah, we, we brought one Lily White to the show. We brought Glory. You know, it's a big show, so we wanted to show off Glory. We wanted to get people excited for the Lily Whites that are gonna come. And uh, yeah, man, we, we took a lot of Snapchat. So if you have us on Snapchat, check us out. We also did something really cool. We did a Snapchat geo filter. So everybody that's in Daytona, the show that's in the area, they're actually able to, um, you know, if you have Snapchat, you scroll through the filters and you see our um, Snapchat geo filter. It says basically what we made was like a check out my pickup, my NRBE pickup, and then it had our logo on it, you know. So it's just a little fun geo filter for those of you guys that were there. I don't know why this keeps doing that. It's pissing me off. Hold on. Um, all right, let me answer more questions. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I swear to God, I'm not trying to do this on purpose. I don't know. I'm accidentally deleting messages too, guys. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm sorry. All right, what's better, Pangea watermelon? Why is this zooming in on my face? What's better, Pangea watermelon, mango, or banana apricot? I have the best luck with banana or with uh, the apricot, the orange label. I just erased three messages by mistake. Jacob um, and Marquise, please ask me again because I accidentally erased. And apparently, I banned Jacob. How do I undo that? What the hell? All right, do you have any super blotch gargoyle geckos? No, we don't have any super blotched gargoyles. We do have some blotched, but not super blotched. But we really have some really nice blotched that you guys could check those out. Do you have any blue tongue kings? Not for sale, not at the moment. What would be a good first gecko? I would say a crested gecko or a leopard gecko. That's what I recommend. Yeah, my phone is super glitchy. So I'm probably going to cut this off. Um, and no problem, Ash. Uh... Damn, I feel bad. I, I accidentally... I accidentally... Oh, crap. Unblock. Jacob, I'm sorry I accidentally blocked you, brother. I don't know how that happened. My phone is freaking out. Henry, yeah, I'll be at Tinley. I won't be vending, though. I'm just going to be hanging out. So you could see me there if you're going, but I'm not going to be vending. I just want to go, man, and hang out. I don't want to be like, I've been working this Daytona show, but I haven't had a chance. Me or Manny really haven't had a chance to really walk around. So, um, so yeah, Tinley is going to be, it's out of my, my range. And, uh, but, um, I'm excited to just go and hang out with everybody and, and maybe pick up some animals for myself. 
uh, Marquez. Let me see what you asked because I accidentally erased your comment. Okay, can you feed gargoyle gecko silkworms? Can you feed blue tongue skinks silkworms too? Yes, you get to feed silkworms to both of those animals. Just they're more of like a treat. Uh, Chevrolet, hey, how you doing? Um, any tiger crested?s Yeah, we Carlo, we do have a lot of tiger crested available. Um, you know, hit us up if you're interested in getting one because we do have some available. Mary Arp, I got a crested gecko from you at the West Palm Beach Show Expo and it won't eat crickets. How do you get them to eat them? Um, so Mary, sometimes crested geckos don't want to eat insects for some reason, but what you could do is there's a little trick that we use that you grab the cricket, you rip off the cricket's head where that juice is coming out. I know it sounds crazy, but just trust me. Um, so you put that the, the cricket right by the mouth of the crested gecko. Sometimes that juice has a scent that causes the geckos to try to eat it. Sometimes it doesn't, but that's a good trick. My, you might want to try that. Um, <clears throat> what is the difference between a gargoyle and a crested gecko? When it comes to care, it's pretty much the same with the only difference being that gargoyle geckos as juveniles and babies, I wouldn't keep together, cresteds I would. Um, but uh, when it comes to care, temperature, you know, humidity, all that stuff, it's pretty much the same. So if you could keep um, a crested gecko, you could keep a gargoyle gecko. Fabio Sander, what's Manny's Instagram? Um, Manny! M, M underscore Durand3? Three? Yep. Okay, M underscore Durand3. That's Manny's Instagram. <laughs> Uh, do you recommend uh, what's can you can you guys hear him he had two beers and he's wasted many is a very many is lightweight as they come all right do you recommend UVB for crested um if you could provide UVB for your crested that's cool uh, it's not gonna do them any harm by any means but you don't they don't require it but if you could provide it sure why not it makes a nice display um, do you have chihuahua geckos yes I have a quite a couple of chihuahua geckos um, uh, we haven't produced any yet but we're looking hopefully producing some by the end of the year how many crested geckos can I have in a tank it depends on the size of the tank it depends on the sex and the size of the geckos so you let's say adults uh, males you can't keep together females you can keep together if it's a male and a female if you put them together they're gonna breed so let's say you want to keep females you could keep like in an 18 by 18 by 24 I'm just giving you an example you could keep um, like four females in there no problem <laughs> Fabio uh, Manny says what's up by the way he says thanks for the follow um, what's the best place to get geckos? Tiki's geckos! That's the best place! Manny, tell them! <laughs> Alright, yeah, Henry, yo, Henry, Henry is asking, is Manny pooping? Manny! Henry is asking, is Manny pooping? Alright, we just went to this bomb barbecue place and... You know, you know what happens. Ollie, hey, Ollie Richardson is asking beer, or you mean water? Beer. <laughs> there you go. Uh, are you going to the Lakeland Fire Expo? I don't think so. I, I don't know if I'm going yet, honestly. Uh, some people tell me it's good. Some t people tell me it's bad. So I don't know if it's worth to go out up there. But uh, maybe, maybe I'll try it out. Um, all right, Gecko Dude 500. What would be the best size tank? It, de dude, email me or or, or message me because it's way too comp. It's not complicated, but it you're you gotta be more specific than that. Uh, Marquise, what's your opinion on bioactive enclosures? My opinion is it makes a great enclosure for display, but if you're keeping geckos to breed and produce and sell, not the best ideas. Do you ship to Canada? Yes, we do ship to Canada. A. So come, uh, if you want to get some geckos shipped to Canada, hit us up because we could definitely do that. He's definitely blowing it up in there. <laughs> hey, Michael says you're definitely blowing it up in there. That's funny. Um, he doesn't like that so much. But guys, 
Um, I'm gonna go on Instagram Live, so hop over to Instagram Live. I want to I want to answer a couple questions there. I haven't been on Instagram Live on a for a while. While Manny poops, I'm gonna go answer some questions. Then hopefully head to the beach for a little bit, and then head to the Daytona auctions. So. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for following us. You know, I appreciate all the support. Um, head over to Instagram. We'll be there, at Tiki's Geckos. Uh, one more question. I was at the Daytona Beach show. I was, I was the one to hold the show across the geckos. Nice. All right. Do you have baby Lily Whites? Not yet. Do Manny have con Does Manny have constipation or diarrhea? Manny. Constipation or diarrhea? Constipation. All right, whatever. All right, guys. See you there. Yeah, he Matt Henry, we got some t-shirts in. Um, we reprinted them, and they've been selling cra like crazy on shows, so hit me up if you want a t-shirt. I'm out to Instagram. Come check us out if you want to answer more questions. Bye.